what is going on everybody welcome back to another video on the channel hopefully you're all having a wonderful day whenever you're seeing this video i am here in la i was doing a quick little trip to get some content on my main channel kirsty is back at home with apollo i'm here doing my thing today is actually my last day here so i decided that i wanted to go get the best donuts in los angeles i recently went to the best pizza place in my area that was back in san diego but since i'm in la and i love donuts and i know a lot of you love donuts i figured you know what why not take the opportunity to go to the best donut spot in la i'm really excited about this because la has a ton of delicious food arguably more delicious food than what i have in san diego just because there's just so much different stuff here i have no idea what to expect i've never been to this place before and apparently it's got a ton of different options to choose from apparently they have really good buttermilk bars really good glazed donuts really good sprinkled donuts pretty much every donut you can think of they have so i'm very excited about this i'm gonna let you all know what donut place it actually is in just a few seconds before i head over there though i am checking out of my hotel in about an hour or two so i'm going to take this opportunity to get some training in and then i'm gonna get some donuts all right so the workout's all done got about 17 miles in i've been planning on bringing back my third channel just to kind of document my iron man training i have my next one in september so if you guys want to see that be sure to let me know down below in the comments i'm gonna hit the shower now and it's time to go get some donuts All right, the donuts have been acquired. I am so excited for these, but first things first, I gotta get something very, very important. Hi there, can I get one medium Diet Coke, please? You guys don't know, McDonald's Diet Coke is the nectar of the gods. I have this deep love in my heart for McDonald's Diet Coke. It tastes so good. And if anybody knows why, please let me know down below in the comments. So I'm just getting gas really quick and I just wanna know, should I buy one of these? I mean, kind of seems like it'd be fun. All right, now it's time to eat some donuts. All right, everybody, so we have our donuts right here. I'm so excited to try these out as this box almost like just falls apart. That is a lot of deliciousness right there. Oh, uh, it's like so much, I can't even like get it in the frame. So check that out. So we have the most famous donuts in Los Angeles in my hands right here, or the highest rated. I do have to say though that there are a lot of conflicting opinions about what the best donuts are in LA, but there was an article that actually was published that said that these were the best donuts in LA. We're gonna see if they're actually the best donuts in LA. Before we get started though, I gotta palate cleanse really quick. Oh my goodness, I love Diet Coke from McDonald's so much. The first donut I'm gonna try out first are their butterflies. And I think she said that these are like a crumb cinnamon roll variation of some sort. So let's let's see if these are gonna be good. I'm gonna rate these out of 10 and let you all know whether they're worth it or not. All right, here we go, let's do this. First one. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's literally like the inside of a cinnamon roll. Like that is pretty insane. Man. That is solid. That's gonna get a seven out of 10 for me. <sighs> donut number two looks like it's just one of their chocolate cake donuts. Oh, cake donuts are one of my favorites. Yeah, they definitely have good cake donuts. That's the inside look right there. Uh, I would give this one an, an eight out of 10. I don't know why cake donuts don't get more love. People don't give cake donuts enough love just out in the world, I don't know why. If you're a team cake donut, let me know down below. I think she said this is like a blueberry sprinkled. I'm not typically the biggest fan of blueberry and donuts, but I'm always open to trying new donuts. So here we go. Oh man. The glaze is just like so good. Wow. I have glaze all over my car. Eight out of 10. Now I think I'm going to go after their cinnamon roll right here. Now from my perspective, this looks like a very Honestly, kind of underwhelming cinnamon roll. I mean, it's, I don't know. I feel like this is a very doughy cinnamon roll. Like you can see on the bottom how it's just like, I don't like doughy cinnamon rolls. I like crispy cinnamon rolls and just, I don't know, but I'm open to trying new things. So let's just, let's get into this. Maybe it's, maybe the taste is gonna be good. Okay, that's the inside look. I mean, the, uh, the flavor on this is good. I probably wouldn't get it again, but it's not bad. I give it a five out of 10. Oh man, 
Water is just so good right now. It's like currently like 85 degrees outside. It gets hot out here in California. Where are my paper towels at? Now I'm gonna head on over to this right here, which is a buttermilk bar. If you've never had a buttermilk bar before, they are absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty sure this is like one of the most well-known donuts at Primo's Donuts. So I'm excited to try out this buttermilk bar. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo! That is so good. That's the inside look right there. That is literally life-changing. Oh my goodness. You get the fried goodness, the soft inside, the sweetness. Oh man, 10 out of 10. That is dangerous. That is very dangerous. I just gotta say, I'm gonna be heading home after this. I do have some goodies at home too, so make sure you, you stick around for the rest of the video after this. I got some goodies at home, some all new goodies that I'm excited to try. This is just their uh, regular cake donut. Yeah, I like, I know of like no purpose for these other than just to dip your coffee into. So um, I'm gonna say that that one's not worth it. I'm gonna say that's a five out of 10. Now this one right here is, I believe the vanilla cake donut. I feel like all of their donuts are pretty much just cake donuts, which I'm not complaining about at all. It's better than them just being all glazed. I'm more of a cake donut person definitely than more of a, a glazed donut person. I feel like cake donuts are just more like, donuts are meant to be a dessert. You either think of donuts as like a dessert item or like a breakfast item. I think of donuts as a dessert item. I don't know, everyone's different, I guess. Anyways, let's try this out. Man. They just, they nail this cake donut. It's like this texture is just so good. It almost like falls apart as you're eating it. Like, goodness gracious. Those get a seven and a half out of 10. All right, well, my camera just overheated, so here we are. <laughs> it is really hot here. We have a few left. Let's get to the rest of them. For all these just melt into the box. This one right here is, I think this is a, another blueberry with sprinkles. Yep. Oh man, I'm now a blueberry donut lover. Mm. I don't know what else to say everyone. These The cake donuts are just like absolutely unreal. I have found my new favorite cake donut place. Now this one is gonna be a very important one right here, all right? We have the maple bacon donut. Now, a lot of people think that bacon doesn't belong on donuts just because they don't really understand the fact that you need to have sweet and savory in things. And I'm a firm believer that you do need to have sweet and savory items. I'm hoping this is gonna be good. Oh man, mm, that bacon is, oh man, that bacon is good. This bacon is like, it's like a salty, crispy bacon. And it's like not fake bacon, it's like real bacon. Eight and a half out of 10. All right. Now I'm really excited to try this one out. This is their cherry cake donut right here. I've had a lot of donuts in my life, but I've never had cherry donuts before. Here we go. Mm, mm, no. Yeah, it was definitely a much needed palate cleanse there. Um, yeah, cherry just doesn't, cherry and donuts just don't mix. Sorry, Primos, everything else has been absolutely sensational. I decided to save the best for last because now we have to get on over to the apple fritter right here. Now, as a person that absolutely loves apple fritters, I'm really, really excited to try this out because apple fritters just encapsulate everything that is good about donuts. You have a lot of places try to do them right and a lot of places just don't do them right. So I'm excited to try out Primos's apple fritter. Is it gonna be good? Let's find out. Oh my goodness, Primos. Wow, that is so good. Everyone, I think I may have found my new favorite apple fritter place. The inside is perfect. The outside is crispy and delicious. This is gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me. I gotta say, if you guys are ever in LA, definitely hit up Primos, definitely get their apple fritter, get their buttermilk bars, and get their blueberry cake donuts. Absolutely amazing. I would 100% recommend you all check out Primos if you're ever in the Los Angeles area. Now everyone, I got a long drive back to San Diego. I'll see you all in just a few seconds. What are you eating? Potatoes. Um, how did you cook for yourself when I was gone? I called meals in the air fryer. That's kind of a good gig right yeah. there. So everybody, I have some all new items. I decided that eating the best donuts in LA just was not gonna cut it for this video. So I decided I wanted to try We have neighbors, just how it goes. 
Okay, so we have some deliciousness. Christy's gonna eat all of these items. The, the next video that we're gonna do is going to, I'm saying this right now, the next video that we do on the electrics will will clarify why Christy is no longer in electrics videos. Okay, so uh, first things first, I wanna try these Hostess. <coughs> you good? <coughs> I wanna try these Hostess dinosaur cupcakes right here. What do you think is going on with this? Like I'm what gonna is- They're gonna be disgusting. I don't under, okay, so the, the description is frosted chocolate Basically, cake with with creamy filling. I guarantee you they've just changed the color of the top. Most all likely. I'm actually, out of all the things I'm, I'm gonna be trying tonight, I'm most excited about this all new Ben & Jerry's flavor. This is the new dirt cake flavor that right here. That actually really good. Um, I'm also really excited about these. These are Liege Grab and Go Eggo Waffles. And then I have some other tasty treats right there. And then I have some um, water over here to palate cleanse with. Are they smaller than they used to be? Is that what you say when you look at my neck? Sometimes. That was supposed to be like, you're supposed to be like, no, I never ever say that while you sit there and eat your potatoes. Um, okay, we're gonna see if this is just food coloring. All of it. It's food coloring, but like hostess cupcakes go hard. Mm -mm. Totally regret buying those. Like you kind of have to buy them like, that's some, that's so, like, when are you gonna see that ever? And what are you gonna do, keep the box? Take a picture of it. It's actually kind of cool. Like dinosaur hostess cupcakes. I've never seen that in my entire life. It's gotta be because of the new Jurassic Park coming out. Oh. You just thought it was a random dinosaur. I did, <laughs> for real, like I did. I just saw it in Walmart and I'm like, that's completely unexpected. All right, so this is the new dirt cake flavor right here from Ben and Jerry's, this is Vanilla pudding ice cream with chocolate sandwich cookies, chocolate cookie swirls topped with milk chocolatey ganache and chocolate cookie crumble. That was a lot. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoo! Man, check that out. That is crazy, dude. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. I just wanna say, I am so ready for this to enter my body. I, I have to leave. Oh, Chrissy's gotta leave. Look at that, dude. This is kind of like, Chrissy's gonna go eat her potatoes. Oh, Christy's gotta leave. Oh man, I'm so excited for this right now. I honestly don't even know how you eat this because it's like, bro, whoo, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at cookies and cream ice cream and uh, like a cookie top to this. I am I'm excited about this. Oh my goodness. Chase that with some uh, water. Oh my. Goodness, everybody, I have no words. This is absolutely amazing. I gotta say, out of all like the new-ish Ben & Jerry's flavors, this is up there for sure with being one of the best. If I had to say like what my top Ben & Jerry's flavor is right now, it's gonna be the, it's like a strawberry. We had it in a past video. Was it a strawberry cheesecake? No, it was that strawberry like, oh, the top strawberry. That was literally life-changing. So good. This is literally like, this is basically that. It's just like an Oreo cookie flavor. I guarantee you that would be my favorite. That's why I have to remove myself. It's, it looks stupid. <laughs> 100% worth it. Now everybody, I think I want to get to these grab and go leash style waffles. I should clarify what a leech waffle is. Apparently it's inspired by Belgian, Belgian street food made with a tasty brioche dough Crunchy bits of pearl sugar that caramelize when baked makes for a satisfying breakfast or snack with no syrup needed. So apparently these don't actually need any syrup. Who is team waffle out there? And who is team pickle? <laughs> Almost a team pickle. Who is team pancake? Drop a comment down below. That is pretty basic. Um, yeah, they're just not sweet enough. Those just aren't doing it for me. But if you all have had those, be sure to let me know down below because there's like, I think like three variations of those. These came out like a month or two ago. Hostess came out with snacks that are boosted with extra caffeine and I never got to try them. And I saw them and I wanted to try them. So one of these apparently equals one cup of coffee, according to Hostess. You can see it right there on the package. This is the caramel macchiato flavor right here. Oh man, that is, that is good. Now the chocolate. This is a chocolate mocha flavor. They taste like coffee, which makes complete sense. Mm. So that's the inside look right there. Those 
are 100% worth it. I gotta say, out of everything, definitely avoiding those, definitely avoiding those, definitely not avoiding this. And these Hostess treats were absolutely amazing. Like usual, if you've tried any of these items, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. And like I said earlier, if you're ever in LA, be sure to try out Primo's Donuts because those donuts were, <laughs> those were life-changing. Anyways, everyone, I hope you have all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe down below in the comments, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next video on the electrics. Without further ado, the electrics. Crap. You actually said it this time. <laughs>